because I just don't like it. I just don't like Folgers coffee. Well, I got so much. Try some different brands of coffee. You just see it there and send them big things and everybody drinks it. So no, it's coffee. I never think of like the difference between coffees, but after having a couple other kinds, man, it's just like, you know, maybe it's just not that great. I got like IHOP, I can just drink the coffee black, no problem. It's good. Here it's like I have to doctor it up to even fucking have it be somewhat okay. Madman who went backwards, just like I did. Oh, you and I were the same. Incredible game sense. Here. I kind of want to go to the store tomorrow and buy some real coffee. I've been in the store in months so I don't really want to go just for that. Still got plenty of shit to eat. Got me some Dunky Donut coffee. Oh. That. I go to Dunky Donut sometimes. I usually get it doctored up. I don't know how good their just straight up coffee is. It's not bad. And I've just never really thought about all the different kinds of coffee. I'll say in a few minutes ago, like. I just think I don't like Folgers. <clears throat> don't panic, Minge. Your reflection is well above you, but don't panic. I'm sure it's just sitting at an angle. <laughs> right? It's up the Cthulhu lad back there. Oh, this is a secret or the main way? Looking a lot like the main way. I got something to tell you about this level. You're gonna be replaying it. <sighs> this is a level where if you go anywhere, it's the right way and it locks off behind you. Oh, so you have to replay it? I mean, you don't have to, but you're gone. Well, let's make sure we're thorough the first time then. I was thorough the first time and I still got fucked. So I had to redo it for the blue heart and I just got like totally screwed when I did the right thing. Yeah. Do a lot of deaths just searching, but do that or have to come back like world two. Could just go all natural and see what happens, but oh, I didn't know those would auto go. Oops. 
done did kill myself. Ugh, where are the rest of these candles? Deny this trooper. Deny this trooper. Punished. Punished. Struba man. You're getting more difficult. <laughs> Good. I'm gonna spend Good. three hours on one of those and on fucking puzzle lad. Not like World 2s, I don't mind. The rest were totally fine. And even that was okay. It just took a long time. So let's go to the bottom. Hope that that is all right. Music's nice. Yeah. Piano's cool, but I like it when it's like the echoey kind of piano. Yeah, when it's just sharp, quite the piano, I'm like, Ugh. Yeah, I was like, I don't mind, but something more atmospheric, like with some other sounds and shit's nice too. That's why I like that uh, Textilize song. What was it called? I think it's the one I kept. Like perhaps there's a blue or a C or something. Wait, let me check, I have to know. The one I've got is Kagero Ranbu. No. I don't think that's the one. Although I don't remember what that sounds like. Let me have a listen. Oh, what do I have saved? Ballad of a Sin Man in Blue Darkness, Restless Town. Restless Town's a good one. That's more piano. Um, cover random. It's cover O, ends in OU. Text lines? 
Mm-hmm. Not here. Well, I didn't see it on here. Did I give you that? Yes. Am I did I not add all of my own shit? It's happened before. And some of these old ones. Or if it's in a weird format I never noticed. Yeah. So glad it's a matter of importance. of my temporary folders. Really I haven't added that in yet. Oh yeah. No, I haven't even added these in. What the fuck? Why do I have a text lies folder? Oh, I didn't add the main one. I guess there's multiple soundtracks. Uh, I thought it was just the one. Uh, I must have never noticed. There's the one I had in my main folders and the ones I haven't added yet. I don't know where I got the ones I hadn't added yet, but here they are. Let me add that right now, lads. Emergency. Add to iTunes. SoundCloud is in my ears are gonna explode, aren't they? I'll just listen to it when I get it in the music player. Right. We can continue for now though, lads, as long as I have it added. I wonder if these songs that I have are the one I you even have them. Games of the year according to GDC's award winners. Speaking of random bullshit, there been any news? Probably not gonna be that much till E3. Some people do some news like a few weeks before E3, but E3 is only like what, two months out? Ugh, iTunes locking up. I'll check it in a sec. Do a room. Um, I don't really want to check that. It's such a shit spot, but... Problem is, like, all of these roof pieces look like they can be broken, like, that one? Looks like it could be broken. I guess not, like, hardcore, but... See, I felt the same way about Hulk. <laughs> I yeah. saw those cracks and I was like, ah! Yeah, it's just like, come on, man. I will say, if there are cracked walls in this level, I'm not saying there are, but if there are, they don't look like that. Yeah. I figured there'd just be way too many.
I'm gonna have to turn on all the fucking lights for the heart or something. But if I like go the wrong way one time, I could get screwed on that. Chest. Chest? Let me chest that song there for you. Kaguru Oh. There's a song like this on that soundtrack. Yeah, this one's good. This was on the one I had with a different name. Right, looking forward to listening to that. Later. Yeah, that's a good choice. That fucking key has nothing to do with anything like serious. Which would suck dick. Open this is just sideways. this bait? Is it just to give you a chance to retry? Huh. I think it's just bullshit. I don't think there's anything underneath this. That would have been clever. I think they'll do that at least once, but maybe not. I got a blue one in that last room. I need to double check these. I don't see a, a candle in here. So why do you not like this hole? Well. Or will I find out? You'll find out. I know you disliked one of the B-sides in this game, I don't remember which one. I like a lot. 
We got like enemies or something in it. What's this one? Uh... Oh no. Gotta make sure we got everything around here. I have to turn on all these uh, lanterns. I don't even know what they are. Prism lanterns. It is. There'll be a lot of redoing. Maybe we don't have to turn them all on, but I mean, they stay on forever, so. I think there's some on the other side of that. Mr. Struba. Ah, Hans Struber. Hans Struber. It's Christmas, baby. What? Hans Gruber. I don't understand that reference. Okay, he hasn't seen Die Hard. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I know the name Hans Gruber. <laughs> I didn't know what the hell it was from. Okay. Well. In Die Hard, it's like Christmas time, yeah. and Hans Gruber is Snape or whatever that actor, and Bruce Willis is the hero, and they do things, man. Bruce Willis shoots lots of people on Christmas. Watch Die Hard, man. The first three, I think, they're pretty fun. No. Hey. I hate him. No. <laughs> it's not through the roof. Now die more for me. Die for me. Oh, Is this the part you hate? Harder. Oh no. I feel like it would be the part you hate. Or you have to like time something over like a really weird long period. I do like these little boys. They're they're pretty bad. What did I just fucking open up? fucking urethra. Uh, open up your ass. The mind will fall. Did I just open up something in here? Not in this room. But with the key room? Open up something you need to progress, but it's not in that room. Oh, okay. <clears throat> if it's something I like... Open... And I just can't see it. Because I never saw it closed. Then just let me know what it was. Just so I, can I, I don't knowledge. even remember. Oh shit. I just know you need to do it to finish the level. It's oh. not a side thing. Okay, well, it don't matter then. Maybe it was like right here. Uh, yeah, I think it was. I think it was that. Can I could literally rip load the switch? Oh, not this then. Ah. 
Hopefully that one will be harder. Let's just go ahead and do it. Bad boy. You will show me the booty butt. Die. Die for me. Speed it up at the uh Sped. I'll speed it speeded you up into an early grave son. Check the left side. I truly already checked the top left. Some fucking stupid man. I assume I'm not a stupid man. I'm just not worry about it. Thoroughly check the bottom. Can't help but feel we we're missing something though. They're making fun of this kind of person, or they just think it's like kind of funny to play it up a bit, but not like horrible. I guess he's funny enough, though. Care what happens to him? Of course you do. You're, you're a caring person, aren't you? <laughs> he laughs. Karen. Karen. I am Karen. Sure. I'm a very Karen person. Oh my. This man is far from Karen. Karen. Sure. You don't like Theo, you're a monster. <laughs> I don't like Theo, he's an annoying hipster little bitch. Not a bad dude, but I don't want him to shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, meet the monster, boys. Hey. I'm neutral about him, he seems fine. 
The old grandma's the best character so far. As far as comic relief goes, Theo's okay. He's good. As far as the character goes, ugh. Oh, he he lacks at him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it's a platformer. The character development is not exactly important. <clears throat> yeah, he's beat this game, so his opinion isn't going to change much. My opinions are set in stone. <laughs> if you want character development, go play a fucking visual novel. Oh. Oh, you should play visual novels, boys. I recommend Fata Morgana, now available on Steam. The house and Fata Morgana. The house and Fata Morgana. Buy now, buy now. Buy three copies. Yeah, Tia's fine. I like the grandma, because she laughs. Everybody's cool. I mean, the gameplay and the, uh, like lag. She's the music great. is the best. The level design's really good, too. I know what they're doing. You can tell on the little retro version. Okay, on this one, the level design is okay. But throughout the whole game, in this level in particular, they have this issue where they lock you out of progression. Like, you'll go off to the side to do something, and then you'll exit, and it'll seal behind you for no reason. Oh, and yeah. I hate it. I notice they do a lot of that. I can't say I'm totally behind that. Like, I can understand if they have a reason, like, you know, the chase is starting, and they don't want to have the AI have to work in an area that... It's Absolutely. If you're getting chased like by Shadow Minge, like you got chased, then it's fine. Yeah. But to do that when you're progressing and exploring, just like in this area, it's going to do that. Yeah. It's a small thing, but it does make it safe to replay some levels. And you can replay them easily enough, but it's like fuck. Yeah, I don't replay every level a hundred times. Yeah, exactly, dude. And I feel like I have to get uh all the lanterns lit for the blue heart. So I'm like super worried about it. It's lit. It's lit, bro. Fuck you. Shut the hell up. Oh, fuck you, my. I don't know what's the main area and what's not. I'm assuming the, the gold shit is the main thing. Hey, it's Ruber. How many hearts do I have? Uh, I have every heart that I can get up to now. We're gonna go for 100% minus. There's some psycho hearts or psycho strubers, like they're like gold, I think somebody said. You can't yeah. like die on each level. I'm not doing that shit. I'm gonna do everything that gives me content. I've explained to him what I did, which was I went through the game, I got every heart, did all the levels, get all the strawberries, but I did not do the no death challenges that give you gold and strawberries. Yeah. I also didn't do the no dash challenge on the first level, because fuck it. That could be side hearts. Just... Oh, I haven't done uh, B sides yet. We're gonna save that until we're done with everything else. Okay, so, well, he just said it, but I was gonna maybe mention it at one point. You asked me if there were hearts and B sides. I said there weren't blue hearts, there are red hearts. They're the rewards for beating the B side. Oh, that's fine. You don't have to go look for them. B sides are just execution. Thank God. That's good of them. I like looking for the Strubers, but I wouldn't want to do it like three times over. Yeah, outside that, I don't really know anything about the game. I, I'm not looking for any hints, any advice, really. Just the, That's the general, general format. But rewarding? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. I like some good hard platform. It's been a while since I played uh, a I'm tough platform. I'm going to make fun of him. If he dies more than I did playing this game. Oh, please. And then I'll make fun of you for taking too much advice, man. And then I'll say that's where my death came from. <laughs> that's okay, but I'll still have less deaths. Oh, please. Please. I'm sorry. I feel like we're playing okay. Nah, you don't even do that. You there. can tell people where to find the strawberries. Oh, no. I'm not saying you were, buddy. I'm just saying that's kind of what's going on. Because, I mean, Goto's sitting here telling me, you know, telling everybody what he's told me, and I don't want it to seem like 
He's telling me every single thing we're doing. I've explained a few basic mechanics, but it's just shit that you need to play, really. Yeah. I guess if you could, yeah, backseating would be like how to get certain streamers and... Attack in certain areas that you can do. Like the blue hearts. Like the World 2 blue heart took me like an hour. You could backseat on World 4 blue heart for sure. I'm, I'm sure like a lot of people have no idea what the hell that is. Oh, Cowspan. You're a good man, dude. Most people we got coming here are generally like you. <laughs> good man. Stay in here. Dude, I just, just like just fucking throw the metal boomerang at him and I'll Oh god! It's, it's, it's raining. You can do that. This game is amazing. Just do it. It's fun. I can't handle. Like I don't mind a little tasteful advice. I'm I'm not like a total asshole about it, and I'm not gonna like ban people or be mean or anything. But Jesus, man, it's crazy how many people on Twitch, man, just are willing to have their games played for them through the chat, man. I'm just like, holy fuck, man. Like a Bloodborne stream or like you know. You would not believe how many people playing Bloodborne just run around with the fucking greatsword and like let people in their chat say, Oh my god, dude, has he fought fucking that one boss yet? Oh my god, he hasn't? Dude, that's gonna be so good. I don't know. It's even worse when it's a woman streaming because everyone is just like, Oh my god, I have to help her. Like fucking white knighting and it's cool. Oh. That's some good advice, brother. Yeah. I don't mind a little bit. Like, there's some things, you know, like, certain mechanics, like, you would never know. Like, the game doesn't tell you. Missable content. I'm not a big fan of missable content. If I'm gonna miss out on something really cool, I wanna know about it. Yeah, there should be nothing that is missable in this one. Exactly, man. Oh. What a good gentleman. What a gentleman. I've been, I'm pretty lucky usually. I, I don't get many people. Maybe it's just the, the environment of the stream and the people in here over time. We've started sticking around. I usually don't get too many people. It's when you stream VNs, you get a few people and then they're like, when if they're watching a VN, they have to be the kind of person who's not gonna spoil shit. Yeah. And then they stay and they're like, oh. I fucking love our platformers too, I'm such a weed. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people That's on me. VNs do. With like mysteries and shit. People really want to like try to become a part of the narrative and tell you like what's going on in a mystery, which is kind of silly. Every time I pass the strawberry, yeah. I'll do that with this guy. Watch him play some pub. I'm gonna miss some really obvious dude. <laughs> so I'm just like, nope. I get fucked. Yeah, it's a good deal. I mean, you know, like I said, a little bit's okay here and there. Like, uh, I always reference Final Fantasy VI. There's a lot of missable content that's very significant in Final Fantasy VI. I want to know about that. It's very arbitrary how you do some of it. It's not very intuitive, like, at all. It's like... I am capable. And I'd like to prove that I'm capable to myself of doing things. <laughs> And a lot of games, I mean, are designed around figuring it out yourself, like... Like, imagine La Mulana, if you ever play that. Just following a guide the whole way through. It would beat the point of the whole game, like... You just don't do it. There's just some games... It just goes against... The entire point. La hmm. Mulana's a special case, because you can miss a weapon in that game. And get totally fucked. Which but one? you gotta let people get fucked. The whip upgrades. Oh, yeah. You can miss yeah. both of those. And you can, uh, like, they're missable forever? Yes. Oh, I didn't even know that. <laughs> you overwrite your saves. Yeah. But you gotta let people do that. Yeah, I see some people who are really, uh, like, way too up in arms about spoilers and hints, though. I, I don't want it to be an unfun place ever. Or you've got to be careful of everything you say. Shit, shit happens, me. accidents happen. My channel. Yeah, his channel would be if like you that. Say anything, and I will kill you. 
<laughs> There's a strawberry in this room. Motherfucker, ban this man. Okay. No. Oh. <sighs> oh. He was young. He was so young and innocent. It's usually something we don't have to talk about often. I think it's kind of just a part of the, the culture of the stream. Enough that people get the hint. Or they don't come around. Maybe it's the kind of shit we play where it just doesn't attract people who want to spoil a lot of shit. Oh my fuck. These shadows fucking trigger me, man. I feel like there's something up in there, you know? What do you usually stream? Everything. And since we play pretty much everything, you have to be the kind of person who wants to willing to watch anything to stick around. So people just kind of come in and out with different shit. Next up on the shopping block, Shin Megami Tensei 4 <laughs> Apocalypse, Professor yeah. Layton, The Azran Legacy. <laughs> yeah. And then some other shit out here. What else? Spider Man 2 and East 5. I think East 5. Yeah. Code Realize 2. Sort of. It's a fan. That's VN. No, we got quite a few regulars in here. It's a good community. But, uh. <clears throat> yeah, just really anything. There's so many. So many different good games out there. Different kind and different genres and shit feel silly only playing like one type of game too much good stuff All right, there's nothing up there platform uh this is pc the pc version i'm using a wii u pro controller i like the d-pad you can actually tell if it's the uh it's, it's it's weird that i can do this but i can always tell if it's the pc or the switch version because the switch version her hair the red hair is slightly desaturated. Oh, I think really? it's in the way people capture their switch. It does that. Huh. It just looks, the colors look slightly different. It's bizarre. The switch version, yeah, I think it's sold best. A lot of indies sell best on switch. I don't know what it is about the switch that attracts people with indies, but I like my switch. Speaking well, of which, there's a switch port of Iconoclasts coming. I think I have that somewhere. Class. I think I have. Do I have that game? No. No, I just watched you play it, right? Yeah, a yeah. little bit. You were deciding between this and Celeste mm. to buy one of my first. Yeah. I mean, we play everything, man. BNs, I mean, strategy, RPG, shooters, it's whatever. Gotcha games. <laughs> Fucking fake shit. Yeah, fake go. If you like fake, I don't know. Streaming at weird hours right now. Not really weird hours. But my sleep schedule's kinda weird, so. Amazing console being portals a huge thing for people to actually live your house. Yeah, well, I mean what I enjoy about the Switch is that Nintendo's actually making games again, really. Although I thought the lineup for Wii U was better than people give it credit for. The Switch so far has been better overall. Detroit Prime 4, baby. That's all a man needs. These have to be of use. This one was like hidden. Yeah, exactly, man. Glad to see somebody else have the same opinion. A lot of good shit. It's just, they shouldn't have named it. I think the biggest problem with the Wii U is it was called the Wii U. They're trying to capture the casual audience again with a gimmick that's not as interesting. And they name it Wii U like it's the just tablet, a point five. Like, the tablet really put me off it. I don't want to use that as a controller, especially when it's something that I can fucking break so easily. I mean, like most shit. games you can use the Pro Controller, but I mean, people don't really understand that. Like, Captain Toad and like a few other games, the only ones I couldn't. Like Xenoblade. I guess Xenoblade X, like, you would want to use it in either way. I didn't hate the tablet. I just thought it wasn't like amazing. You know, like I didn't, I, I'd rather use the Wii Pro one. I like the tablet better than motion controls. Oops, did I like tipped it? I was holding the button though. Uh, 
Um, but yeah. It had a lot of good games, man. A lot of them are getting ported over, a lot haven't yet. I've got like two more games to play on the Wii U until I've kind of finished the catalog of all things that I care about. Fatal Frame 4 and uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, but... I thought it was a good console. They shouldn't have named it the Wii U, was my point though. Like, it just sounds like a like a half-step upgrade thing, and you don't people don't really get it. I feel like they should have just made it something different. I feel like a lot was in the name. <clears throat> like, there's so many people I talk to who regularly play games. Maybe not like, you know, like you or me might do, but, you know, they, they play a few things. They own, they own a console or two and play some occasion. They just didn't even know Wii U was like a, what it was, you know. All right, so we got locked out. Let's hope we got everything back there. Was it Hyrule Warriors? Did you spend 1800 hours on Hyrule Warriors? Because if so, I'm gonna laugh at you. Don't laugh at him. I will laugh at I him. I haven't played Hyrule Warriors yet. Did. Don't. I like that. The music's good though. Mario Maker's good, bro. Oh, that's, that's completely valid. I haven't actually played Mario Maker. I watched a lot of Mario Maker. I can imagine what it's like. I was surprised they didn't make a port of that. I feel like maybe they could make like an upgraded version. Only 140? Oh, okay. We get a small shackle from Goto then. Give him a small shackle. Oh, I gotta go down. Yeah, I've played Dynasty Warriors. Um, four, five, six, and then four and five for Empires, and then Samurai Warriors 2, XL, Samurai Warriors 2, Empires. And then Warriors Orochi? I haven't played any of the One Piece ones, the Hyrule one, like that. I'd like to. I mean, people talk about it enough, I should. If you really give a shit what kind of games we've played and what we plan on playing, I have lists below the stream for both of those things. They're more for me, but I figured I'd make them available. Are you updating the finish list? I think so, yeah. I haven't okay. updated the put games on the list thing. What was the last thing we played? Shit, I didn't put Nino Cooney on there. <laughs> but yeah, they're more for me, but sometimes people want to recommend shit, which, you know, that's the only way sometimes you can find a game is, you know, two people played it and one of those guys recommended it to you. So I have a list for that kind of shit. So people don't feel like they have to recommend something's already on there. Finish list is for me. In case somebody wants to strike up a conversation about a game, those are the th these are the things I know something about. Nino Kuni, where, where is Nino Kuni one? Man? Oh, it's up here. I'm not gonna type the subtext shit like Revenant Kingdom and all that. Do it, bitch. I'm not doing. It. I didn't. Yeah, do it. I didn't. I didn't do it the first one. I should though, because there's a DS. People won't know if you finish a 3DS one. Uh, the DS one, yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. Oh, it was DS, not 3DS. <laughs> Whoops. All right. I have Fire Emblem Wars on the Switch. Uh, I need to get into Fire Emblem. It's one of the bigger series I still haven't gotten into. I try to play a lot of heavy hitters, a lot of like classic games, a lot of influence. But there's only so many things I can get done. Those, those being one of the things I want to do. Uh, we do like Final Fantasy Tactics and all that shit. I want to finish out that series. Um, started up Advance Wars, which I like a lot, but. I've not jumped into Fire Emblem yet. I'll probably start with uh, 4, was it? The first Game Boy Advance one. I think it was Japan only. But there are fan translations. I think there's remakes of like 1 through 3. Shadow Dragon's remake of 1 and 2, I think. So I don't really need to play the original 1 and 2. Yeah, I figured I'll work from the start. Like, why not, you know? But I'm gonna play any remakes I can over it. Like, the originals. Like, I don't mind playing originals of games, but if they have a remake, like, I'm not gonna play both of them, so... We'll get to see enough of the classic versions. I'm doing that. And I figure if I ever want to play the originals, they're not gonna be very fun if I play the new ones first. <clears throat> I 
Last century, Days of Ruin. I like Days of Ruin's art style, but I, I don't know what to think of the, the game itself yet. I, Days of Ruin is the only one I played. And I was stupid. I didn't know how anything worked, especially CO powers. And I hit a point where I just could not continue. Like a mission where there was a meteor. Like that was the focus of the map was the meteor. And you had to, you had a time limit or something. And I was just like stuck. I've still got the game. But Advanced Wars didn't really hold me. I always thought Fire Emblem was better. I played a, I played Radiant Dawn and Awakening. Yeah, I've played a little bit of Dual Strike, which I loved. A little bit of Black Hole Rising multiplayer with some boys back in the day on the GameCube, uh, like uh, Game Boy Advance plugin thing. Um, but recently, recently, like two years ago, we played the first one. I liked that a lot. And I'm looking forward to Black Hole Rising and Dual Strike and all those other ones. It'll be great. Dude, it wasn't two years ago. Advance Wars 1? You played that like a year ago. Was it? Maybe. But anyways, two something I want to do. Ugh, all of these little things, man. I feel like there's something there. We're definitely going to do the second one. Right now, the goal is <clears throat> finishing up a couple games that I've been meaning to play for a bit that are kind of fresh. And then uh, there's a lot of sequels coming out this year. I got a few games I want to play to prep for those. Um, Spider-Man game looks decent. So I want to play Spider-Man 2 because everybody says that's good. Might do the infamous games, get a little more hero games under my belt. Valkyria Chronicles 4 comes out this year. I've played the first one. Love to play two and three. Well, maybe not love. I heard they're kind of shit, but <laughs> we will play them. What else is it? I think Darksiders 2 is something I guess we'll do. I want to play all the Mega Man games. I haven't played really any Mega Man games, so that's a pretty big one. It's really I'm four, about man. <sighs> Dragon Quest XI comes out this year, but I don't think I can manage to get through 10 Dragon Quest games before the end of the year. I'd have to be doing Dragon Quest like every month. I want Apocalypse, because Strange Journey comes out, but Apocalypse will be one of our next games. Mega Man Collection come out on Switch yet? I might just rent that. Um, the problem is that I don't know if I want to play like 10 Mega Man games in a row. But I could just sit on it for a bit and just be like three at a time. I want to play the X games too. I figure I should get those under the belt before 11. Just for like talking points and shit. Yo, dude, I'm fucking jazzed about Prime. Just give me information on that, and that's all I need for E3, dude. Yeah, dude. I didn't want to get this key yet, actually. I didn't realize that's where we were going. Mega Man. Uh. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, the old ones are gonna be rough. I mean, there's some quality of life shit that's just probably not there, but it'll be all right. They're short enough too. I never liked Mega Man. 
Never played one? Yeah, I've, I think I've touched one for like a second. That's about it. I've watched a lot. I enjoy watching speedruns for him, but that's only about the maximum I've ever done. They're classics. Whether classic equates to good game or not, we'll see. I mean, they seem, they seem good enough. It's gotta be. You light every single one of these, dude. This is gonna fucking suck if I miss one. If it's not, maybe, maybe I'm just autistic and I just assume something like this would be it. People love them, man. No doubt about that. Is this a guaranteed death I have to take? No, okay. <laughs> Everything. Another be thorough this time. I don't want to go back through this room though. 